as well as some general ideas for live streaming from the Epifan Pearl for your gaming system or other live streaming setup. So let's jump right in. So streaming is actually handled from your channels. So we're gonna set up in the next video a new channel for a custom layout, but for right now we're going with our Xbox One channel that we created in a previous video. Streaming is under the channel name and under streaming. Go figure. In these options, you can choose streams for viewers, enabled, and then that's a default streaming port. We're actually gonna go down here to stream to a server. This is how you're gonna stream to YouTube, Twitch, Hitbox, etc. And under publish mode, you're gonna go to RTMP push. Now you can also upload an XML file, which may work for certain websites such as Live Sportscaster, and I believe YouTube may even let you do that. We're gonna set up a couple test streams here real quick, actually. So I'm gonna go down to my live streaming platform. So this, we'll, we'll, we'll hit YouTube first. So I'm gonna go to live streaming on YouTube. We're in the stream now beta. And then we can, we're gonna call this a Epifan Pearl test for tutorial. Now, if this is a gaming stream, you can choose which game you're playing, or we can choose science and technology because that is what this stream is going to be. If you choose gaming, it will show up in YouTube gaming as well, which is nice. You can open up, we're not gonna go there yet. So stream options, enable DVR so that YouTube automatically uploads it, but we can also tell the Epifan Pearl to automatically save it as well. Make archive unlisted when complete. And then you can choose on YouTube whether or not you want to optimize it for interaction, which means low latency or less buffering. So if it's low latency, then there's more buffering for the viewer. If it's if there's less buffering, then there's a little bit more latency. And then you can add a manual delay. We're not going to worry about that. Choose whether or not you want to moderate it. Choose whether or not you want to add cards to it, which is nice. And we have a crowdfunding card already enabled by default, which is nice. Then go up here to set up your encoding software. It tells you to set up your encoding software. Thanks, YouTube. But here's what you actually need. Your server URL, which we're gonna go ahead and right click and copy over here to the URL name. And then stream name should be your stream key here, stream name key. Now you never wanna reveal this to anyone, not anyone ever. If you do, you need to generate a new one because anyone who sees this will be able to stream to your channel and event. And this applies to YouTube, uh, Live Sportscast, or Twitch, and Hitbox. If they have your stream key, they can stream to your channel. So you want to generate a new one if you show it to someone, but you really want to make sure that you just don't show it to anyone. So that is something important to note. Now here, that's where you can hit reset if you need to. We're going to paste our stream key in the stream name here and then username password we shouldn't need for YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And then whether or not it's published is, give, it gives us an option here, start or stop. Now, while we're streaming, we can also tell it to record. So we're gonna go ahead and tell it to start streaming, enabled, and then we're gonna go to recording, and we can go ahead and to tell it to keep recording a full high quality, not lossless, but you know, much higher quality than the live stream copy, copy of the stream here. Now, unfortunately, my subscribers are seeing my stream as well, which is unfortunate because I wanted it unlisted, but I don't seem to have that option for that anymore. Actually, if I go to advanced settings on the YouTube stream, ah, uh, yeah, there is an option. Or there might have been an option to make it unlisted there. That's okay. You can see YouTube detects it. It says it's starting, receiving your content, and to get ready as the preview will pop up in a moment. And then once it's live, your stream will be shown here, and you can see me navigating through... Well, after a short delay, you'll see me navigating through the Xbox menu here as I just keep holding the down button. And you're live on YouTube from the Pearl. It's that easy. And then with the custom layouts that we look at and stuff like that, you can see that part as well. Then to stop streaming, click stop streaming. Same thing with recording. Click stop recording. Now, unfortunately, a couple of viewers may have showed up for that, but that is okay because... I'm going to now delete the stream because I don't want it to exist. Actions, delete, delete. Now the same thing will also apply for Hitbox and Twitch, pretty much the exact same way. So if we go to Hitbox and then go to our Hitbox dashboard, actually no, we don't want the dashboard, we go to our Hitbox live stream settings, that's gonna give us the RTMP URL, 
and you paste that in there and then the same thing you you, you generate your key and you show it you copy it you paste it in there and you save it and you can stream to hitbox and then same thing for twitch on twitch you go to your twitch dashboard which is always not super convenient to get to go to your name dashboard and then here you get stream key it's gonna be like are you sure you want to show your key and then you show it you do need the stream url however so thanks to the <laughs> to the page for another website actually or for another program actually the twitch url is rtmp colon slash slash live dot twitch dot tv slash app and that is what the url you paste in there for twitch is so basically the same as hitbox for live sportscaster we have something a little different so i'm gonna log in here gonna go up here to administration this is for live sportscaster.com assuming you already have an account i'm gonna go to clips we're gonna make a new clip boxcast live streaming and then you put in your boxcast event urls information into the live sportscaster clip but then you also put that information which would be an rtmp url for the video quality you would also put that into here with the stream key and the login information and that should be how it works so for your major streaming services that's pretty much all you require live.twitch.tv slash app uh, if i hit control z live.hitbox.tv slash push hit control z again a.rtmp.youtube.com slash live2 and then your stream name key from the respective websites and that's all that is required and again you can stream and record at the same time and keep a very very high quality copy of the live stream locally to then upload edit etc or for archival purposes and you were still live streaming very very handy i do hope this tutorial has been helpful for you if it has be sure to smash the like button don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech videos and epifan pearl tutorials check the link in the description below for the rest of the epifan tutorial playlist we've only got one more video and that will be in the playlist as well which in this next video will be on our layout creation our advanced streaming configuration creating a layout with gra with graphics face cam etc and previewing video files using a handy chrome extension Stick with us.